Hi all, here's my BSA A10, rather heavily modified as you can see. Um, what I'm going to talk to you today is about the uh, Bund valve breather system rather than the other modifications and explain how I've replaced the BSA timed breathing system which is rather inefficient, um, okay for sort of low revving and low performance engines. However, if you produce a lot of um, horsepower and tend to rev it a fair old bit, it just isn't up to the job, the pressures get too high inside the engine and the bun valve system is a very very useful improvement. So hopefully I'll be able to show you uh, what I've done and how I did it. This is what the actual bun valve looks like um, and if I'm going to suck and blow on the tube above it you'll be able to hear how it, uh, how it works. And that's what should be happening, um, lots of cycles a second. Now the time breather system um, works off the end of a cam in the timing case there. I haven't got a video of that, of me uh, modifying that, but um, you can see here the photographs I took of the timed breather part in my lathe, ready to be uh, cut. Um, I must admit a trepidation of nerves just before I started, point of no return. And then here is the cut piece later, as you can see, in position. So that removes the timer and gives complete open uh, access from the bottom half of the engine to the outside through the breather on the other side of the engine. Here's the uh, bottom half of my bun valve system. Um, first of all, here is the um, a lug that I made, which screws into the casing in this position into the uh, breather hole there. I'll just screw that in. And uh, there's the system. That's all nice and secure. Copper piping. The clip on there. Up through the valve. Up through the valve. Into the tank. And on the back of the oil tank there's a nice big bracket I welded on. So you've got a real good size there. So any oil vapor will, or oil drops really, will end up in the oil tank. And then of course you've still got the breather here, which I'll have a tube on going to um, a collecting can in case there's more vapor than I expect. So this is the uh, intake side of my bun valve system, my A10. As you can see, here's a, um, a little air filter, like a little K&N type air filter. goes onto a big tube here, uh, onto a spigot which I put into the rocker cover. I've already taken the clip off, so I can pull this off just to uh, show you. As you can see, that's a nice big uh, diameter to try to get the air in. So on, uh, when it's sucking, it'll take the air in through the filter, down through that spigot, through the barrels, and then out, there's the little copper pipe you can see, off to the other bun valve, which is down there, and off to the oil tank. So here's the pipe running with the valve. You can just about hear them over the engine noise. Um, I'm not sure if the camera will pick them up. On the outside, I've put the oil tank breather here, just to uh, dig out a little bottle, just to show you. If I wet my finger, you can see it blowing. You can see it blowing bubbles. Hi there, I hope you found my video informative and interesting and I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have if you leave them in the comments below this video. Just a couple of basic points though, um, the bun valve system 
reduces the negative pressure under the pistons when they move up with the time system as a sort of a negative pressure and it makes the engine feel much more responsive on the throttle it really is quite notable how quickly it picks up um, long term test so far for a month or two it's been absolutely fine the system works really really well you can hear them clacking away on the video you can certainly hear them if you put your head close enough to hear them clacking away um, but it's a very good system and I'm very pleased with it some point later in the future I might well change the copper pipe and modify a few things uh, make it look a bit neater but overall I'm very happy with it as it is thanks for watching